Look at that thing. It's stretched out on the road. Wow, that thing's big. Oh my god. It just did the little head twitch. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at him. He's doing the head twitch and the tail rattle. Wait, that's so cool. It's a juvenile one. Oh my gosh, let's go. <laughs> right here. My second ever live bull snake. Oh my god, that's so cool. There was a car right behind me. I'm so glad I stopped. And this guy didn't. Alright, so we're out road cruising in a completely new area for the year. And I just got a ribbon snake right at sunset. This one has a really cool red stripe. Very nice. Actually just oh just on the road that I got the ribbon. There's a tarantula. <laughs> Let's scoot this guy off. Here's the ribbon snake. That is actually really cool. Alright, it was going in this direction. So I'll just put it there. Oh my gosh, let's go! <laughs> right here, my second ever live bull snake. Oh my god, that's so cool. There was a car right behind me. I'm so glad I stopped. And this guy didn't get run over. Let's go! And cruised right at sunset again. Yes. Alright, I'm just gonna let this bull snake cruise back off into the grass. In the direction it was heading, of course. There we go, keep moving. Alright, just got a Woodhouse's toad. These guys are super common lately. Got him out of the road. No, this is so depressing. There's a DOR Massasauga, which is the main target. I'm pretty sure it's DOR. It looks like its head has been hit, or like the neck. Oh man, that's so depressing. What? Alright, I've been here a while, but I think it's completely dead now. The movement has slowed down a lot. There's like a really small wound on its neck, and that's why I think it died. But otherwise, it's super intact. It's so sad. We just met up with some other herpers to go pick up that rattlesnake for specimen collection. But on the way, they found this really gorgeous bull snake. It's got some nice uh, oranges on the side of the head. This one's way bigger than the one I found. So cool. <laughs> All right, I've been tasked to release this beautiful bull snake back where they found it. So long. Hope the cruising keeps up a little bit, but after this, we're gonna go check out a spot for another special water snake, pretty endangered species. So see you all then. Man, why can't people watch where they're driving? I just found this, I guess, alive on road. Great Plains rat snake, but it's definitely been hit. Although it looks fairly intact. Oh, not really there. It's not bleeding or anything, but it was like opening its mouth earlier. And its tongue is out. Overall, it seems okay, but I don't know. I see like the head looks fine. There's a good chance this one will make it, but I don't know, we can only hope. Okay, I'm just gonna release it off the road. And just hope for the best. It seems like it just has a couple broken ribs. So hopefully it should be able to heal from that. I've seen snakes with much worse injuries. Let me put it further in. Yeah, it seems to be moving okay. I'll keep cruising. All right, it's been like an hour since the last snake, but here's a copperhead. This might even be my first live road cruise copperhead of the season. I'm not, I don't exactly remember, but let's go, another snake. Snakes are still out. So cool. I had to calm down a bit. It's a bit of a closer look. Okay, maybe it didn't calm down, <laughs> but it just keeps trying to evade me every time I get close to it. Such a beautiful snake as always. I got him out of the road. It's looking like I won't have to handle this snake at all. Go, go, go. There we go. Off the road. Keep going. Yeah, I'll, I'll move them off more. Keep going. What? Why do they do this? When they get into the grass, they just become angry. There we go. Same road today. I just saw this tiny turtle. Little baby red-eared slider. Got him out of the road. 
really hoping to see an alive Massasaga today. So let's get to it. Oh my gosh! This is crazy! That's a prairie king snake! It just did the little head twitch! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at him! He's doing the head twitch and the tail rattle. Wait, that's so cool! It's a juvenile one. My fourth one ever. Look at that! Okay, there's a car coming. I'm gonna get him out of the road. Oh my gosh, here it is. I love the colors on the juvenile ones. It's so like orange. It almost looks like a milk snake or something. And they're this age. Wow. Oops. So cool. It's doing some tail rattling and it was striking out earlier, but kind of chill now. All right. Snakes are out, I guess. <laughs> Gonna release this beautiful prairie king. Okay. Well, this is new. There's a Gulf Coast toad on the road. We'll get him out. Usually this area is filled with wood houses, but occasionally we see these guys. Get onto the grass. No, that's, oh my gosh. Yep, he's good now. Oh my gosh, right here is not the target, but this is actually a lifer for me. Oh my, this here is a lined snake, Tropidoclonian lineatum. Wow, that's so cool. I've been meaning to see one of these guys forever now. The bellies are really cool on them. They got the little like triangular patterns. Let's go. That's awesome. So it seems like in certain areas of the DFW Metroplex, these guys are pretty common where I live. There's absolutely none of them. So I came all the way out here and finally one of these days is bound to turn up. Such a cool little fossorial snake. Let's go. It's trying to dig into my hand. Look at that. All right, time to let the snake go. Move it kind of far off the road. What is that? Okay, move it far off the road. Gosh, I hear something. There it goes. Okay, I think we got another line snake. Oh, wait. It's just a huge rough earth snake. What? Okay, I'll take that new species for the day. Man, that thing looks like gravid or something. Huge. I'll get it out of the road. I don't spend too much time with this one. Oh, okay, it's gonna musk me. Quick. There it goes. Speedy for how small it is. Big for a rough earth. But keep moving. Oh my gosh, out here looking for Massasaugas again. You're not gonna believe what I just road cruised. This is my third ever road cruised Texas blind snake. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> just saw this little squiggly guy crossing the road. That's crazy. Wow, somehow he's actually sitting still. But yeah, that is indeed a snake. You can see the eyes right there. And it just licked its tongue. Definitely a snake. He's musking me all over. Oops. Yeah, these are really stinky because they eat primarily ant larvae, which I guess makes their musks stink a lot. Definitely low on the musk tier list. Overall, really cool snakes, even though they're so little. All right, even though this is pretty interesting, it's not my target, so I'm just gonna release it and I'll keep moving. All right, next snake of the night. I'm coming out now. It's a plain-bellied water snake. It wasn't hit, luckily. Small. Still pretty chunky. Not biting, which I like. Don't want to speak too soon though. We'll get it out on the road. All right, be free. Yeah, it'll just bury into there. All right, next snake of the night is a humongous Western Diamondback rattlesnake. Look at that thing. It's stretched out on the road. Wow, that thing's big. Oh my god. It's completely flattened out here. Got a decent sized rattle too. Wow, that's awesome. Not a care, just sitting in here, absorbing all the heat. All right, hopefully I can get this guy moving in the direction it was heading initially. 
please don't fire up. Seems pretty chill for now. But we'll see. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's moving. Keep going. Wow, that thing's super healthy. There it goes. That is so cool. All right, I just got a little Western diamond back on the road. I don't have the hook right now, so I'm just gonna go get it quickly. All right, I got the hook now just to be safe. I'm just gonna scoot this guy across the road. <laughs> okay. He turned into a pancake. Oh my gosh. Keep going. There we go, off the road. Just met up with another herper. You just got a Great Plains rat snake. It's pretty cool. Maybe even grab it. It's kind of thick down here. And it's... <laughs> All right, we'll let it go soon. Oh, look at that. We have a leopard frog, but I actually think this is a plains leopard frog. It has the broken dorsolateral fold right there. That's super cool. I've never seen one of these in Texas. Oh, he's gone. Got a picture of him. There he goes. Very cool. All right, we got a snake on the road. It's a beautiful... Little Great Plains rat snake. Let's go. Wasn't really expecting to see anything tonight because it got really cold for some reason. There we go, Great Plains rat snake. Very cool. This one's actually got some neat, like, oranges under the scales. Overall, super clean snake. Narrowly saved it from getting hit by a car just now. In case, I'll just uh, release it in the direction it was heading and keep it moving, because apparently snakes are out. All right, just got snake number two and is yet another Great Plains rat snake. He was originally heading this way, so I will help him out with that and get a better look at him first. Ooh, come back. Look at that. A little bit smaller than the last one. Just got a quick voucher shot and then release him. belly on this guy is visibly different, a lot less black and orange colors, mostly white. Pretty cool. Just set him in the direction he's going. Well guys, I just got a blind snake. Somehow spotted this guy. Oh, about to get attacked by a fire ant. <laughs> That's cool, I almost hit this guy and I just swerved over him. Right on the edge of the road too. Pretty cool, I'll get him out of the road. I'm gonna release him over here. There we go. 